Welcome everyone, if you're having poor performance on your iPhone, the first reason is if you charge your iPhone while using it, especially while it's at the lower percentages, the battery is going to emit a ton of heat, and that heat will heat up the processor, and once the processor overheats, the operating system is going to feel extremely clunky, and in that case, I want you to prevent yourself from charging your iPhone while using it and if you have to do so just try and charge overnight try and charge 30 minutes without using the phone and then use it normally if you're not charging while using and you're still having some issues then we're going to turn off the iPhone turn it back on sometimes that will help there may be a software glitch in the background slowing down the iPhone so regardless of the iPhone model, we're going to press and hold power and volume down. And then when we see this screen, we're going to slide power off. And then we're going to wait 30 seconds. And then we're going to press the power button down. Don't need to press anything else. And once we see the Apple logo, we're going to wait until it turns back on. And then the phone may be laggy, uh, laggy for the first 30 seconds. We just open up bunch of applications just open them like this and the phone should smooth out if you notice that the problem goes away and then it comes back if you have intensive games that you're playing so let's say in a grid auto sport and you don't probably close out of the app then because it's running in the backgrounds it's using up all of your resources which is why your iphone is slow so if you're playing the game, so I open this one up, I just you know, go back to the home screen and I go on like a social media, I don't have one, but let's say I just go to the settings here and I notice things are slow, then I want you to access the multitasking and every time you leave any game, just close out of it, because otherwise it will be opened up in the background and then you should have better performance. If you are still having problems, then a newer software app that you've installed has crippled the performance. On my old iPhone 6 here, if I kept it on its original software, which was iOS 8, I mean, I have, I have iPhone 6 as an iOS 8, and they're super smooth, there's never any lag. But on the latest iOS 12, you can see it's kind of slow, it's not the best. And so, uh, if you have an iPhone 4S, for example, on iOS 5, it's so fast. On iOS 9, it's crippled. And unfortunately, in that case, because Apple blocks you from downgrading the software, you will need to upgrade your iPhone. And when you upgrade, I would recommend you don't update your software. Okay, just don't update the software. Sometimes Apple will force you because they'll block or app support. They actually do this. On Android, the Android from 2014 still supports apps. On iPhone, you need to run the software from 2021. I'm not joking. So iPhones aren't really the best for longevity. So you may just want to get an Android in that case. But that is something to keep in mind. The software update has probably crippled your iPhone. And uh, yeah, see if you can downgrade. You most likely can't. And in that case, uh, new iPhone upgrades or dealing with the slowness is your only solution. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.